Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is a comment video from work. All right, let's get started because I'm always behind on comments, especially lately because they the show been so interesting and y'all got so much to say. So I'm trying to keep up as much as I can. Reeski is first. She says, I feel a little bad for Deputy Mayor Ashby. I know she's working for Victor, and I think that the team because Deputy, Deputy Mayor Ashby seems to have a fear of ghosts and the Supernatural team, I'm sorry, Supernatural, the team will use that to their advantage. This is going to get good. Ava took out Nicholas and Austin caught Ava trying to hide the body. Dora was good at playing the grieving friend. All I can say to Victor is look out. Bambi is packing. Yes, Felicia is quiet and comes across like she is harmless, but when she's pushed, she can take care of things. I almost forgot about Felicia and Mac and Sean devised a plan to cause Ryan to confess to murders he committed and just how clever Felicia can be. I don't even think that Felicia is on Victor's radar, foolish man. Oh, no. I don't think that Victor is even thinking about Felicia or Mac. Or Scorpio. I think he feels like Mayor Ashby has Scorpio under control and Mac. And I think he thinks Felicia is just a cute little wife. Mm. 179 CPV says Trina looked so cute today. Absolutely beautiful. She's been looking cute every day. Every time we see her on screen. They, I really like how they've been dressing her and keeping her hair up. They've been doing an amazing job. She looks amazing. And when I see her off screen, you know, on the internet and stuff like for her party, same. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the Worldly says, BBB, we have a living room where special guests are welcome. The minister, church lady, sales people, and business associates people in suits and dresses. Then away from the entrance of the front of the house, we have the den. It's like a living room. Okay, so she's she's explaining. Let me just for people that don't know what you be talking about. When I was asking about when yesterday in the recap, well, early this morning when it uploaded, um, Ava told Austin to go to the sitting room. And I said, well, I thought the room everybody else sitting in is the sitting room. So I'm like, do people with big houses or, you know, mansions and stuff, do they have more than one living room? Because my house is little. So I have a little two bedroom ranch house. Because I'm old, right? So I bought that house. So when I get to the time in my life where I can't use the stairs no more, my kids don't have to worry about me falling or trying to sell my house and ship me off somewhere I don't want to go. But anyway, she's explaining the way, you know, um, her house is set up. So you must have a very big house. She says they have a living room where special guests are welcome. The minister, church lady, salespeople, and business associates, people in suits and dresses. Then away from the entrance of the front house, we have the den. It's like a living room with more comfortable furniture and open to children and friends. Okay. And then she says, the family Bible is on the living room coffee table. <laughs> we are not rich, but very much black and Southern. Okay. Okay. I get it now. Because you're Southern, so y'all houses down there are huge anyway, right? Just... Right, I've never been south, um, so I don't know. But just based on what I see on TV, I'm sorry. I assume you know the houses down there are big, so y'all would have big houses. Now we have huge houses here in Detroit too. Um, so, like for example, my ex mother in law, her house was pretty big, but it was obvious, right? So she had a living room. Like when you first walk in, we would call it the vestibule, right? So you may have like a couple of chairs. So I guess it would be like the sitting area. Yeah, like a waiting part, but for the house. I guess so. But Nicholas in them sitting room, y'all was upstairs to the left. I was like, y'all dang. All right. Um, 179 CPV says, I bet Nicholas isn't dead. His body will probably disappear like what happened with Peter. And um, 179 says, you would think Austin, the doctor, would check to ensure Nicholas is actually dead before he agrees to help Ava cover up what she did. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry I cut you off. It says he's certainly able, better able than, able, I guess, able to determine, you know, death. I, I assume that's what you meant. I agree. Maybe they're going to show it today. He's going to check the body. I'm not sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, and I also don't think Nicholas is dead. I'm telling y'all, he's going to turn back up later on sometime. And maybe next year or something, you know, but I don't think he's dead either. Linda White says, you can make me so mad, but I can forgive you and I hold no grudges. I, 
Well, mission accomplished, Linda, because that's what family is for. And that's exactly what family does. And Victor told us yesterday that you can never cut ties with family. (laughs) So I don't intentionally mean to make you mad. I don't. I think we just get heated in these discussions. But I love you. So welcome to the family if I get you that heated. But no, Linda, you know, we just be talking about the stories and sometimes we disagree and it is what it is. And I do apologize. I don't mean to make anybody mad ever because who wants to be aggravated, especially through the YouTube. But yeah, we just be have, trying to have a good time and sometimes we can, you know, it's just, it's our sport, right? General Hospital is our football. What you going to do? So I love you, Linda. Um, Angela Johnson says, praying for Miss Catherine's baby girl. Yes, thank you, Angela. And Angela says, well, it was uh, raining, but I got to watch LeBron James play. I love watching him play, but I always love watching scary movies, Scream 5 and Nope movies. I didn't see Nope because the trailer, the trailer looks interesting when it first came out. But all the reviews and stuff and in the clips, I was like, eh, I think I'll just wait to stream it. So I'll, maybe I'll stream that this weekend. And... Yeah, I love scary movies too. Scream 6. Listen, Angela, Scream 6 is coming out. They're also, did you see about that they're doing a Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey movie? Check that out. I think Rockstars, it's a YouTube channel that does movie reviews. I think Rockstars did the review. And, um, oh God, it's another, The Grinch. I, the Grinch and horror version is out because some of the rights to a lot of these characters are now loose. You know, because I think Mickey Mouse, I think the rights to Mickey Mouse, for God's sake, is coming out next. So when the rights are out, you know, they're no longer under that copyright thing. Anybody can use their likeness. And so some people, they, they're using it for horror movies. And I think it's amazing. That Winnie the Pooh blood and honey. Yeah, it looked like just a bunch of men in Winnie the Pooh masks. But man, the story looked good. It's, it looked creepy. I suggest y'all check it out if you like scary movies. Um... But I'm sorry it was raining on your birthday, but I'm glad that you got to watch LeBron James play. So that was something. (laughs) Maybe you can do something this weekend. Linda White says, Mason and Austin's boss name is Olivia Jerome. I'm starting to think that too. But remember that she's supposed to be in jail. Remember she's in jail where, um, oh shoot, where Cyrus is. But I guess she, we did say she could certainly still be calling the shots from jail. Deborah says, oh, today was the first time I've heard anyone mention Epiphany. Um, This is the second time, and it's always been Trina the first time. No, I'm sorry, Portia. Portia mentioned Epiphany the first time because when they asked him to play at their wedding, she said something about Epiphany. She was like, you had a lot to, um, you know, live for, find out about your diagnosis. Remember when she was pushing him to get diagnosed, she mentioned Epiphany, and then Trina just mentioned her. And then she and Deborah says again, bareness in today's episode with Portia's family. Her brother came from. T- I thank you, my God. I knew I seen him. The haves and the have nots. Did the um did he tell Portia she had to wear that brooch because he would he would wear it? <laughs> what were they trying to say about his character? So Curtis took a payoff. Um, open your eyes, Laura. I wanted Brad to go inside and see Portia's brother. That's the mate for Brad. Oh, I didn't catch on, girl. I'm slow as a turtle in a snowstorm. Okay, so he said if Portia didn't wear the brooch, he would wear the brooch. Did he mean it? Really? That, uh, we, let's let this play out, Deborah, before we jump to any conclusions. It's very fresh in the game. I didn't hear him say that, but okay, Brad. Okay, because I did say they needed to, I just said that too, didn't I, D? I said they needed to keep somebody because I needed to see Brad more on the show because I love Brad. I think he's a great actor. And here we go. Felix 2.0, why not? Um, But what about the daddy? What y'all think about him? He's handsome. Now, um, I don't know what's supposed to be wrong with Portia's mom. They're talking about she's on new medication, blah, blah, blah. Let's see how that plays out. Um, let me see who's next. Sean White. Sean White said, see, Sean, is that right? Am I saying it right? If I'm not saying the S White, please uh, correct me because the spelling looks like it's Sean, but it's two N's and I never seen this before. 
And now I'm curious how I'm pronouncing it. Please correct me. Please, please, please. But she's telling you happy birthday, Angela. And Angela is thanking you. Um, and S. White again says praying for you and your family, Catherine. Yes, thank you so much. And Otherworldly says I plan to uh, binge watch this weekend, but I'm feeling left out of comments because I don't have the full story. I will say this. Ava could call Sonny. I thought the same thing. I doubt Nicholas is dead, but the writers could keep us guessing. Sonny would say he's taken care of and leave it at that. Producers will buy time to get the story straight on the character Nicholas Cassadon. I don't think he's dead either. Um, I think um, they may go the Peter route. I'm, I totally agree with having his body disappear or something. I also thought about her calling Sonny, but she didn't have time because Austin showed up. He showed up so fast, so she probably didn't have time to think. It's very hard to say if she could trust Sonny because Sonny, yeah, he's warming up to Ava, but they're still not quite there yet, right? So I'm thinking like, would he use that to get full custody of Avery? He could use that against her. So I'm not sure. Usually in that situation, who would she call? Her brother Julian in a heartbeat. And I really hate that. I really hate that we don't have him right now. This is a prime time. See, this is a prime time for Julian's character. And I hate that they're taking Nicholas away because this is a prime time for his character too. And Barbara's Nexon says, forget all the madness of Ava slugging Nicholas and the dragging out of the storylines. Portia's brother is a real cutie. Maybe he can stay in town for a minute and catch a glimpse of the beautiful police commissioner, hint, hint, Jordan Ashford. Now, that's what I thought, too. Um, until he said he was going to wear the brooch. So not until Deborah told us he said he was going to wear the brooch and Portia didn't. So now we got to wait to see who he's interested in. That's pretty much, at this point now, I don't know. But Jordan is a possibility. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Jordan and I guess if he gave Brad. Uh, what other young lady do we have that's available? Alexa, no. Mm -hmm. Not many, do we? And I want to see if they're going to bring her mother on the scene. Is her mother going to get well? What kind of medication is this? Is the doctor a mad scientist type doctor like Elizabeth's parents were? Put it in the comments. Okay. Um, Sabrina Hughes. Hey, Sabrina. Sabrina says, regarding Carly, I love her. I've been looking at GH forever and have been her, yes, and seen her growth regarding Nina. I have seen her from the beginning and she has never been nice. No, Carly lives in Nina's head rent free and is never going to let it go with Carly until she loses Sonny. I still want the baby to be named Caroline. And Angela Johnson says, hey, welcome to the Carly side, dear. <laughs> yes, welcome. Unfortunately, you guys, and I'm here for it. You know, I love the drama, whether it's with Carly or anybody. Nina is coming for Carly with both barrels locked and loaded, and I'm here for it. I just can't wait to see what she's going to do. But I think it's going to be the insider trading thing. I think she's going to find out about it and turn her in. Um, Carly has come a long way, but we're long overdue for her and Nina to come head to head, right? Nothing happened between them when the Sunny thing came out. She didn't suffer any repercussions whatsoever, and nothing happened to Carly when she lied about Willow. Or nail. So at this point, it's time to like for them to come to blows. Uh, hey, Brooklyn is back. Brooklyn R says praying for Catherine's child and your son as well. Thank you so much. And uh, Medora says uh, praying for you too as well, Catherine. Sandy Moon says happy birthday to Angela. I remember 29 about 100 years ago. This is February sweeps. Let's hope some of these storylines wrap up. And please tell us who Dex is. You know what? They done drug out Dex's storyline so long. I totally forgot that we don't know who the hell he is. They got him touching these with Jocelyn and doing all kind of stuff. Yes, they need to tell us what's going on with him. Um, and she continues. She says this wedding can't happen until Portia tells the truth. Or Jordan will. Luckily, Sasha will be there to dry his. Uh, I'm sorry, Selena will be there to dry his tears. And Angela says, "Thank you so much, dear." Um, I would like to see uh, Curtis and Selena. You know, see what's what with them too. And I think we are getting ready to wrap up some stuff slowly but surely. I really do. All right, you guys, that's going to end it for this section of the comments. Thanks for listening to me, Jen Hens. Please leave a like before you leave, and I'll catch you in the comments.